Hello everyone, welcome to Molecular Evolution Laboratory. What is Molecular Evolution Laboratory? The Molecular Evolution Laboratory was established to provide molecular diagnostic service to the Jamaican population. So the idea of Molecular Diagnostic Laboratory is to implement or establish a long list of molecular diagnostic testing options to the Jamaican people. Since we've launched, we've been doing quite a bit of molecular diagnostic tests to our surprise. Our most famous is the STI the STI-9 is where we use PCR or polymerase chain reaction to identify various gene products of different sexually transmitted infection. We highly recommend this test to a lot of people. The STI-9 include chlamydia, gonorrhea, mycoplasma genitalium, mycoplasma hominis, ureaplasma urolyticum, ureaplasma parvum, herpes 1, herpes 2, trichomonas vaginalis. From a physician standpoint, what I've seen so far is that a lot of people tend to have asymptomatic sexually transmitted infections. So for example, urea plasma tend to be asymptomatic in a lot of men. Urea plasma is also asymptomatic in a lot of women as well. And what we've seen is the clinical correlation between urea plasma as well as pelvic inflammatory disease as well as ectopic pregnancies. We've seen a lot of patients who complain of infertility issues and upon doing the STI-9 we discovered that they are positive, for example, for urea plasma. Urea plasma and mycoplasma hominis tend to be very common. Urea plasma, I would say, is the most common STI in Jamaica so far. As it relates to the mutation, we have implemented a lot of different gene mutations as well. We're currently offering the JAP mutation. This mutation is very useful for patients with blood cancers, for example, like polycythemia rara. We also offer Philadelphia chromosome or BCR ABL1 translocation where we look for the mutation in various genes transcripts such as the P210 and 190 transcript. We've actually been getting a lot of positives. Well, not a lot, but a reasonable amount based on the amount of samples that we've been getting so far. Philadelphia chromosome translocation you see in patients with CML, chronic myeloid leukemia or B-cell lymphoblastic leukemia as well. Among our molecular diagnostic testing options, we offer other mutations for blood and bone cancers. We also have BRCA1 and 2 gene mutation that we are trying to roll out as well. So we have a long list of molecular diagnostic testing options that we also have not launched in the Jamaican market. But the idea behind the Molecular Evolution Laboratory is that we provide a bit more advanced advanced diagnostic testing option that is also economically friendly or affordable to the average Jamaican person who is suffering from a terminal illness or just a simple STI. There's a lot of different ways in which we can implement molecular diagnostic testing. Ideally, there's a lot of health promotion and education that needs to take place. We're just here to implement where we see that there's a need. We'll try to make a lot of these videos to advertise and to encourage people to seek health information or encourage the Jamaican population to use a bit more advanced diagnostic approach as it relates to various illnesses. In addition to our molecular diagnostic testing options, we also offer the general blood testing services, the traditional microbiology testing, the traditional hematology, pathology, chemical pathology or chemistry. We also incorporate all of those. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We like to share health information and I'll see you next time.